Allah Salawam. I want to give all praises to Yahweh with those only begun son Yahweh Shah, man. And uh, I wanted to bring out a quick uh, foreshadow, a real quick, man, about uh, the Messiah in the Old Testament, bro. When you read the scriptures, all right, you got to be in the spirit, man. Uh, stay in the spirit because. When I, I literally just read this, man, in the Holy Spirit, you know, and I read the book of Psalms before, but the Holy Spirit, bro, the more you read for you, beloved, you know, the more, the most high reveals things unto you, bro. But again, something very simple. Y'all check this out. Get that Psalms 2 and 2 real quick. And just to show y'all the importance of going into words in the blue letter. The Hebrew, like in the Strong's, like we already said before, it's going to give you the actual context of what it's talking about. Psalms 2 and 2. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord Yahweh and against his anointed. Okay, saying. So I'm going to just read that verse because I got to go to work in my 20 minutes. The word anointed goes into the word Mashiach. Bro. Strong's H forty eight ninety nine. Mashiach. Mashiach. So we know the Mashiach, that's Yahweh Shah in the New Testament. Of the Messiah, the Messianic Prince of the King of Israel. Who labeled Yahweh Shah the King of the Jews? Of the high priest of Israel. Who's the high priest? These are just different definitions. But the actual Strong's, bro, it says specifically the Messiah, bro. Anointed. So, Psalms 2 and 2, the anointed, is telling you it's a foreshadow too, right? That means Yahweh Shai Christ was always with the Lord, bro, since the beginning, okay? He was always with the Most High. Uh, a lot of beloveds, you don't understand this because you want to be on Clubhouse, and a lot of people, a lot of you Israelites, you put your trust in man, and uh, of course, going to the origin to consecrate, to anoint, right? So when you go, when you jump down, because they'll go to verse 7, and they'll say, well, it says King David is the son. When you go to verse 12, okay, when it says, uh, kiss the son, lest he be angry, it means touch, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled, but he little. But he little. So y'all telling me that King David, y'all telling me, that King David, uh, uh, what what precept shows you that King David's wrath was kindled, but a little? Blessed are all they that blessed are all they that put their trust in him, put their trust in King David or in the Lord, bro. Now, anyways, the word son, the context apparent to the throne, man. Okay, the son, bro. <sighs> But I just wanted to bring that out because a lot of beloveds, man, you're not, you're leaning on your own understanding. So, again, Psalms 2 and 2, dude, the anointed, bro. I'm going to leave, I'm going to just let y'all read that, dog. It says the Messiah, bro. So, Yahweh Shai, like the Bible, like Colossians tells you, he was given the authority through the angels to, uh, to rule, man. So, that was just a quick little lesson, man. I'm gonna go to work right now. Um, but yeah, y'all beloveds, man. Uh, and apparent means clearly visible and understood, bro. Right, the Messiah. Okay. It's not talking about no damn uh, sal Salaki. Not talking about anything else but it says the Messiah. Anyways, with that being said, peace and blessings and shalom.